Hello, my name is Karu and thank you so much for coming to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share my personal experience on how I cured my uh, eczema. And as a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, so this is just my personal input, but I, I remember when I used to have eczema, it really consumed my mind and I spent hours and hours online trying to figure out and listening to other people's stories. So I'm hoping that uh, somebody out there could possibly benefit from my own personal story. Now my eczema started around 2012 and I never had this kind of skin uh, troubles before when I was younger. And as an adult, I started getting uh, a small eczema around my cheekbone around here and it was really small. And as soon as I went to dermatologist, he gave me a uh, steroid cream and it went away as soon as I applied it. So I never really uh, paid too much attention to it. And for, I know for a lot of people, eczema is a chronic uh, condition and people have it from uh, early age. But for me at that point, it was really temporarily. So that went on for a few years, like flare up here and there, but it was really small. And as soon as I applied uh, steroid cream that the doctor gave me, it went away. And honestly, back then, um, I was so busy with life and I never really paid attention to what was causing the eczema. Uh, so I was continuing on with my lifestyle, which was eating a lot of sugar, a lot of dairy, a lot of meat and processed food. And um, I was also on birth control the whole time. Then in 2015, I had like a full blown pediasis rosea. Um, that is a completely separate condition. Then maybe I can make a video on that also. Um, and then after that, in 2017, uh, my eczema started to appear consistently around my chest and neck area. And the size ranged from the size of the quarter to like the size of my, my palm. And it scabbed up and it was really dry and itchy. And um, I don't really have many photos of it because I was really conscious about it. And I know in my case, even when it was really bad, um, it's not as bad as people who have been suffering for years with the severe cases, um, but it really, really bothered me and uh, consumed my mind. And But I really didn't want to go back to the temporary solution of putting on uh, steroids. So I started to take things in my own hand and started doing uh, a lot of uh, research, watching YouTube and reading articles online. Uh, so here are the five things that I did that I believe helped me heal my eczema. One, I cut out dairy, including fermented dairy products like cheese and yogurt and sour cream. And I stopped putting a uh, creamer, like a dairy based creamer in my coffee. Uh, that's not to say that I completely cut out dairy. I still eat ice cream like here and there, maybe like once or once a month or once a couple months. But um, I, I don't drink milk anymore. And I didn't see any immediate results from this, but I believe that it really kind of um, helped improve my general overall health because um, I used to have a congestion and that went away also. Number two, I stopped taking birth control and I didn't see any immediate results from this either. And um, I've been off for about two years and I feel like it generally improved my health actually. And I, I always thought that if I get off birth control, cause I was on it for a really long time that um, I was gonna go crazy. Like I was gonna be emotional mess, but it turns out that I am pretty much the same or maybe a little bit more stable. Um, that's not to say that I don't have any PMS anymore. I still get slight PMS and um, fatigue around that time of the month, but um, it has not made anything worse in my opinion. And actually, I think stopping birth control helped with my hair. I used to uh, lose a lot of hair every time I shampooed, but uh, I noticed that uh, recently, uh, last year or so, when I don't really see any hair fallouts on my floor. Number three, I started to eat less processed food and sugar. And I still like candies. Uh, here and there, but um, no joke though, like in my 20s, <laughs> I 
I used to eat Skittles and Swedish fish and I used to call it a supper. So I think this was a really big change and as I said before from a diet change I didn't see any immediate results like this second day or next week but I think it really helped me um, improve my overall health in the in the long term. Number four, I cut down my alcohol consumption. I was never a big drinker and when I used to drink a, a lot, I would say a lot, uh, it was like a few drinks on the weekend. But now I probably have like one or two drinks a month in uh, social settings at most. Number five, I was debating if I should mention this because this could be controversial, but I used to, I used this Chinese herbal cream called Ying Iganjering cream off of Amazon. I, uh, it was really cheap on Amazon, but I have to warn you that after reading a few articles online, this cream seems to contain steroids uh, that should be prescription only. And it's marketed as naturals, but really like ingredients are all in Chinese and you really don't know what's in it. That being said, I only use this once, but this, this really cleared my eczema miraculously in just five days and it, it has not come back since. And um, I will put, I'll show you a picture here, but um, I only use this for one time, just five days, uh, consecutive days. And this worked better than anything I have ever used. So I'm a little conflicted because I want to tell everyone that this really helped me and it gave me so much relief. But um, I, I, I feel like I can't because this could potentially be very, very dangerous. So uh, please consider yourself be warned. And I think this cream is already taken off from online stores and you can't find it anymore. So with the diet changes I mentioned previously and the uh, five days use of that Chinese cream, uh, my eczema has not come back for uh, over three years. And overall, I think it has not come back because of the diet and the lifestyle changes. And I suspect that it has something to do with my uh, histamine levels because all the foods that I eliminated were also high in histamine. but know because I haven't really been tested. I have to emphasize that with diet change you really need to be patient to start seeing the result. As for creams, I suggest that you talk to your doctor and decide for yourself whether you you should use steroid cream or not. As I said in the beginning, um, this is my own personal story so I, I please just consider this as my two cents. But if you have ever used that um, this cream before, I would be really curious to hear your opinions on it. Uh, so please comment down below. Thank you so much for listening to me and uh, I would appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for listening and watching. Um, I appreciate all of you and have a great day.